out there, then we back up. Understand? We back up. All right? What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Soul Stage with legendary actor, director, and musician Idris Elba. Let's get to do some sneaker shopping today. Get to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Oh yeah. Let's go. Idris, I want to start 14 years old, tire fitter. Yes. One of your first jobs, but you were like self-sufficient. Were you using the money to get sneakers back then or what was it like? Yeah, well, it was either two things. It was clothes mm -hmm. or records. You okay. Know I mean, I was making probably about, I don't know, $25 a day, which is about 15 pounds or okay. so a day. And it was good money for a 14 year old, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and then I would get tips. And so I'd take that money and either buy some clothes for sure, because I was DJing them times, yeah. or it was records. So those were like the two passions, and and still clothes I, and records. I mean, I'm still in that. I'm still doing that. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Whenever I spend money on sneakers, like whenever I go shopping, which is rare for me to go to yeah. the shops. So if I go to Brooklyn, I definitely go to a shop and go see some sneakers. Okay. I feel so good. Yeah. You know what I mean, you just get that money over you, like ah, take the bag. Yep. Uh, fresh pair. The fresh pair. Gonna happen today. Hundred percent. Gonna happen today. Yeah. And you moved from. UK to, to the city, yeah. New York. Yeah. What do you notice in difference in like sneaker culture from the UK and the States? Uh, it's just a good question, man. From from the UK, no, no. When I arrived in the States, sneakers is a, a, like a real thing. It's mm -hmm. like a real big part of your fashion statement. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In England, less so. For example, in England, you might could wear Adidas tracksuit mm -hmm. and then some Nike. Mix shoes. and match. Mix and match. Yeah. When I got to the States, that was a no. No, no. So I was like, oh, smash, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, people would literally be like, right. What you, what's you, this guy doing? You know what I mean? So that was one of the first lessons I learned that in New York, when you're wearing your sneakers, you have, there's colorways, you, your t shirt need to match, yeah. and da 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 da. In London, it wasn't, wasn't like that. But in London now, yeah. Now, like, the sneaker culture is, I think, Huh. Definitely, and a lot of like Air Maxes, you see that 100%. in the streets a lot. Yeah, yeah, but came late. Like these are these are classics. Yeah, nineties. Like, Batman, Roadman shoes, you know. We obviously have to talk the wire. The wire it portrayed Baltimore super authentic, but mm. the clothing. You know, you had the velour suits, you had yeah. like the sweatsuits. How are you picking what you were wearing on the show? I mean, you know, obviously the costume designer dictate mm -hmm. that, but you know, the, the authenticity was really important to the narrative. Like, it's like, we were in Baltimore, yeah. you know? I remember auditioning for it and they were like, you can't tell the directors you're English. Mm -hmm. You just can't tell them that because they're really into this being authentic. Although all the actors weren't from Baltimore, it, it was important that how, how we dressed was authentic to the streets. So. You know, and I spent like, what, three years in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. I lived in New York, but I was back and forth to, to Baltimore. And, and, and the, the, the street fashion was what yeah. it was, you know what I'm saying? There was a lot of white tees. Right, right. A lot of Air Force Ones. So that was the thing, you know, Baltimore is a big, like, foam posit and New Balance area, but you guys were wearing Air Force Ones mostly, is that fair to say? From, yeah, yeah, so Stringer wasn't. My character didn't, my character had, was sort of like suited yes, yes. and, you know, like, uh, Brooks Brothers. Right, yeah, right. You know I mean? But like the basketball game you were in leisure yeah, wearing, things like that's that. That's true. Air Force Ones were definitely a feature. In fact, that time for me, Forces were my okay. particular, my personal favorites. You know yeah. what I mean? It's weird because, like, I always associate Forces with hip hop, mm -hmm. the course. music and producers, and, you know, and New York, right? So at that time, the hip hop community was the first to embrace the wire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That hustle, that, you know, street mentality, that, you know, they could see themselves in the show. So this is all I wore, this forces. And on set, were their boxes showing up? Were you shopping in New York or Jersey <laughs> and bringing them to Baltimore? What was it like? Nah, I mean, you know, like first season, people weren't sure because Sopranos was it. Okay. The first season, we were like, ah, the, the, wire, the budget the, might have been budget, a little, yeah, yeah. It was a little bit little. Exactly. But second season, it was like, nah. And then we started to get the clothes in, the shoes in, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I remember they're like the brand, like the academics, jeans, do you yes. remember them? Yes, yes, you know of course. I mean? 
uh, those brands were Aniche. Yep. All of those brands were just doing it, you know, for Laws and yeah. Slicks and all that. So, and then third season, and we was on fire. I mean, we practically get what we wanted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It went from academics to like Gucci yeah, sweats yeah, or yeah, exactly. whatever. Jordan you want. boxes coming in. Exactly. Oh, wow. Were Jordan boxes coming in? Yeah. Towards really? The third. Yeah. Towards the end. And yeah. they were just like fitting you guys if you wanted to wear. If you wanted whatever you wanted. Because by that point, we were, you know, you know, I mean, we were hood celebrities. Yeah. Out of doubt. It just, do you have any of the sneakers still from the wire you, when you and Aranda were hitting downtown locker room or no? In storage, yes. Really? 100%. What do you think you would have in there? I Air Forces? Have, I, would, I actually would have uh, a bunch of shell toes. Okay. We had a bunch of them. I would have some Air Forces for sure. Okay. And maybe some Jordans. Wow, that's awesome. Maybe some Jordans, yeah. Be in a museum one day. I know, man, I know. I, I, got, I really want to go to the storage and have another look and, they're not going to be box fresh, but they're just, you know. It's okay. Yeah. Vintage, classic. Yeah, vintage, vintage. What are some of your, like, your favorite Jordan silhouettes? I know the big ones, but I've seen you in like the threes, the black cements, the yeah. classics. Yeah, actually, you know, I love these. Mm -hmm. I love these. I don't wear them very often. I love these. I've got a few of these. Um, like I have those, the jeans. Yeah, Levi's. Levi's yeah. So but these are more collectors for me because okay. I don't really wear them, but mm -hmm. my ones, Love, you know what I'm saying? All the I'm, different I'm, I'm colors. All the colorways, I like these. But these though, man, the I'm still like, I reckon I could get away with those. Okay. On the red carpet, just brap. That's it. Brap, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Some more Jordan history, we have to talk. You were hitting the Jordan parties for a while. <laughs> look at look at this pull up Damn, in the full Jordan the... fit. And wow. You, you even hit more. I even had the toes out. Yeah, you had the toes out. So, <laughs> that, exactly. So Jordan had um, these Wicked getaways yeah. in the Bahamas, you know what I'm saying? He would invite a bunch of people out, you know what I'm saying? I think me and Gabrielle Union went out, we was promoting a movie. It okay. might have been Daddy's Little Girls. And, you know, I was gassed to yeah. be at Jordan Weekend, so you could tell, and look at that picture. I, I haven't seen that picture before. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Did you ever meet him? Like, did you ever chop it up with yes, him? Yes, once or twice, okay. you know, just to say hello once or twice. I, I even said to him one time, I want to play you. Really? And he was like, mm, I'm not ready yet. Okay. That's all he said, I'm okay. not ready yet. Were you serious? You're, I was no, dead you're, serious. Because you're competitive. Serious. I know you're super competitive. It, it wasn't, you know, in my head, playing Jordan wouldn't be about playing the, you know, the basketball player. It's about mm. the businessman. Okay. You know what I mean, he's a very astute businessman, really smart. Definitely. And his work as a, a philanthropist is like Amazing. unspoken, but people don't understand like the work. He cares. He does yeah. a lot of work. So that's where I was hitting. I was like, I want to play Jordan. I'm doing that. And he was like, uh. he was like, oh, I'm not ready for that story yet. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? We have to talk. Sabrina, the collaboration with your wife, the Louboutin collection oh, yeah. for a great cause. How did that come about and, and what was it like working with that brand? So, I mean, you know, Christian is a friend. He mm -hmm. came to our wedding and, you know, I'm not bragging, but he's a lovely guy. He's obviously, a, a, you know, a shoe connoisseur and an incredible influencer mm -hmm. in, in his red bottoms. You know, at the height of the George Floyd uh, yes. conversation and, you know, as a big luxury brand, he was found himself stumped. Like, how do I contribute to this? Mm -hmm. What do I do? How do I do it? So I told him, I said, why don't we do something where, you know, we collaborate, we put the message out, and all the money that we make, we give to charities that are fighting the fight. Let's do that. And he said, yes. And um, so we've done one season, and this is the second season. These are- Little these tees, are, right? Yo, these right here are the uh, SLs, okay. 2002s. 2002 because that's the year my, my daughter was born. Love that. And also the year I started The Wire. <laughs> the best collaboration though I have to talk about with your wife, Sabrina, do you, you recognize these? You guys, <laughs> you guys had matching sneakers for the proposal. It kind of flew under the radar. <laughs> Was that planned? No. No, no, it wasn't. no, no. But she got me mad into these. Okay. Actually. We used to wear these a lot and, and, and I, they're super comfortable. Yeah. All right. And at the time, weirdly enough, man, my, my ACL was mad crazy. On okay. Me getting, I had to get it replaced. So these are the most comfortable shoes. I didn't realize we were matching. Matching You would sneakers. notice that. Yeah. You would notice it's that. In the, the, crazy. It's in the details. Yeah. <laughs> Last question. Can't wait to tell her that. Man. Yeah. Last question, silly, silly question, but I love The Office, obviously. Mm. Michael Scott, not the biggest style maven. What would a Michael Scott signature shoe look like? Really? <laughs> what do you think? Uh, uh, a Michael Scott signature shoe, um, I mean, it wouldn't be over here. You're right, I'll right, you right. right now, it's not over here. I'd say, if I'm honest, you know we're talking about New Balance. Yes. 
Not okay. The, no, I'm not throwing shade. Well, not, not, no, not, the no. cool, not the cool new Not the cool right? one. Okay. You know, the stock regular. Yeah, the yeah. referee shoes like yeah, my dad kind of yeah, wears yeah. a little bit. I think his colorways would be sort of gray and blues. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Amazing. But I'm not throwing shade to Joe's shoes, all right? Okay. Those are fresh. Appreciate it. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shelf, see where you're going to take home. Okay. Let's do it. What's up, man? What you getting today? Uh, all right, bro. So uh, I'm going to go for these for sure. Obsidians? For sure. Uh -huh. I want to flex on them and these. Yeah, you're taking off ones. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, in that, I'm in that mood. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I got you. I need these. Chocolate with the pink there, you know what I'm saying? Cool, Strawberry, cool. and then just for shits and giggles, man, I'm just gonna grab these as well. Oh, for sure. The OG shadows? Yeah, 100%. I got you, bro. Thank you, man. Yeah. No, man. I knew I took a couple, but I, I saw a few more that I needed. Nah, you did some damage. I did, I did. You know, you know something, something. Easy money. <laughs> Ain't easy money. Hard money, man. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Nah, I need to build a oh. new wall for these shoes. Right? Right, you got it, you got it. So your total is $18,724 with 50 cents. Perfect, man. Thank Appreciate you. it. There you go. Perfect. So listen. I ain't gonna be able to do this by myself. I gotta get somebody, help me pack this up, and we're gonna get it to you. All right, bet. Appreciate you. Good job, man. All So it just came through, told some great stories, got a bunch of sneakers. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you for having me, man. I did some damage, but uh, you know, I mean, I mean, what you're am I here. Gonna, what am I gonna do? Make sure you check out Sable Labs, the skincare line, a new podcast, and maybe the Louis Vuitton collection. Gonna need some help with these. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll just get. I'll just get someone. In. Okay, a Rondé. <laughs> Thank you.